interpreter tells me, right? And then, then, then the interpreter tells the lady the things that, the things that I am offering. Well, listen, the interpreter tells the lady the things that I'm offering. Okay. All right. This is one of the wildest, entertaining, and incredible stories that you're about to see. The reason for this wildness is not because of the Thai brides, but instead because of this man, Lake Palmer, the star of the show. Before diving in, here is some context. The BBC show hosted by Louis Ferru explores international love-seeking. Louis visits Bangkok and he delves into the dating agencies that connect Thai women with Western men. And what, it seems to be quite a few young women just sort of sitting around. What is going on here? It's quite well, odd, isn't it? They'd come in because it's their day off and they've come to enrol. To enrol, really? Yeah, some of them come to enrol and some of them come to meet. So straight out of the gate and we visit a dating agency in Bangkok. Now for those of you who are wondering, there are still dating agencies like this in Bangkok, but they are much less well known. Tinder and websites like Thai Friendly have pretty much taken over control of the dating scene. But the owner of this business is Ronnie, and I don't know if he is really nervous or something because of all the cameras, but he comes across as a real creep in this episode. But let's continue. It's a mystery, isn't it, really? Because we're not that great, are we? I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Even if we're not that great, in comparison to the Thai man, we're saints. It's funny because as someone who lived in Bangkok for years and also interviewed Thai women for this channel, I can kind of relate to what these guys were saying. You see, back in the day, expats in Thailand were considered a bit of a rarity and locals often viewed them as gentlemen. However, with Southeast Asia's growing popularity, living abroad has become more accessible. As a result, stories of foreigners misbehaving all across Southeast Asia has become more frequent, and this has caused some locals to develop a negative perception of Westerners. Although some locals still see foreigners as a better deal than local men, times are changing in Thailand. To be honest, I don't think it's just about personality. I suspect that money and other elements come into play, which makes Western men more desirable, but there you go. But back to our story. Wani shows the camera crew around the office, they meet some Thai women, and then he takes Louis to meet his new girlfriend. Louis is a little bit um, surprised that mm. you're 21 today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that I'm 55. Yes, can we? Mm. Well, how is that? Is that divine? Thank you. Oh. Okay. Little trivia for you, these two actually got married and separated only eight days later. Anyway, enough of this agency, let's meet Lake. Hello. Hello, good morning. Are you Lake Palmer? Yes, I am. Indeed. Can I come in? Yeah, of course you can. I'm Louis. Come in. How do you do? Ah, oh, lovely. I'm 56 now, uh, very much alone, and uh, I think life is passing me by. If I could find somebody to love and take care of, and I could offer them something in return, a home, a different environment, love, affection. So far, so good, right? I mean, let's be real, life in your 50s is quite different from life in your 30s. Most guys in their 50s who come to Thailand want to avoid the headache and simply meet someone special. I've researched Lake quite a bit, and I gotta be honest, I really like him. At first glance, he appears to be a very eccentric gentleman who's lonely and is just seeking love. And honestly, I can't blame him for that. But today is a special day for Lake because he's about to go on some first dates. But Lake is not feeling his best and he's really nervous about this whole situation. I need somebody to calm me right down. Could I get a bit... Uh, I suffer with my nerves a little bit. Do you? I get a bit erratic. And here we go, our first red flag. Remember how I mentioned in previous videos to watch out for those red flags when dating in Southeast Asia? Well, this is a prime example. Now, I know that Lake is a man, and I'm mostly talking about Southeast Asian women in this context, but it's still a great example of those early warning signs. I've met and dated some wild ladies in my time, and one thing I can tell you is that people can't help but reveal their true selves, they leak information. If someone has anger, jealousy, or other issues, it will eventually show. The trick is to spot those red flags early on. But will the Thai women that Lake is about to date recognize these red flags too? This, this, uh, this is a question for the lady. Question for the lady. Questions for the lady. But I'll tell him. If I manage to change it, I'll tell him. 
But here that may be more serious. No, but I don't know him. Yeah, you know him, you, but you, you don't know the date. What I'm trying to date. say is that you, you will, I'm sure, when you meet your date, that you will find that it, she makes you, she's so feminine, she's so, so graceful, so she, calm. She will, she'll, she'll be will a calm calming. She, she will calm me right mm. now. Meet Lawrence. He is the owner of this dating agency. He begins by sharing some expert tips with Lake about dating in Thailand. Even outside of this clip, it's evident that Lake is growing increasingly agitated with Lawrence's advice. Lake's nervousness is building up and it's starting to show. That time, I'm afraid, it's the time for you to meet your, your chosen lady. Also, ask the questions in Thai. Oh, I know in, what that inter means. Interpreter yeah, tells me, yeah, okay. right? Yeah, okay. And then, then, then the interpreter yeah. tells the lady uh, the, things that, that the things that I am offering. Well, listen, the interpreter <laughs> tells the lady the things that I'm offering. Okay. All right? <clears throat> Don't try and stay calm. Don't stay I am calm. calm. No, it was just the way you said, listen! Well, he don't listen, does he? No, keep it calm. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. <laughs> I've been married twice, right? Broken heart. Let ladies go off with other men. When cats away, the mice are play. I don't want it to happen again. I feel like a flower without any water. It withers and dies. I don't want, I don't want to die without love, you know? I need love and affection. I crave for love and affection. If she gives it to me, I will give it back tenfold. Heard from that, and yeah. she knows how it feels. We're, we're, we're both, both, both hurt. Yes. Both hurt. Oh, Is she a good cook? She's a, she knows how to cook because she used to open a restaurant. Um, I would love, love, and cherish. I would. Oh, sorry, Lake. I didn't know you had I was going to ask you carry uh, on with Later. Yeah, okay. Later. Right, um, I would hope she, how, I, 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 that's put me off now. I'm not laughing only because I've watched this particular clip around 20 times, but I must admit it's amazing. Lake is comedy gold. The whole interaction sounds more like a business deal than anything else. But I do feel a little bit bad for teasing him because at his core, I think he's a, just a misunderstood man who's incredibly lonely. However, the way he talks about heartache and then switches to asking if she can cook, along with not letting the interpreter speak, turns this scene into pure entertainment. So far it seemed to be going quite well. Wait a minute, what was the name of that restaurant again? So far it seemed to be going quite well, although I did worry that Lake was moving a little too fast. Nice. So Lake basically takes his date for a nice meal and she brings along her friend who's in the back there just in case it all kicks off. Bye -bye. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. You know how to contact me? Yes. Okay, through hotel yes. or Mr. Lawrence or Tapini? And I'll speak to you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. God bless. Thank you. Okay. Just look at that body language. As I'm editing this video, I played the scene without sound, and it's even more awkward. It's clear that this isn't an agreement based on any romantic feelings, but rather on convenience. That's why I mentioned that it resembles a business deal more than sincerely finding someone that you're interested in. It went, pre nice time. It went pretty well. Mm -hmm. I, th I think she was a tease. Do you think she might be the one? Yes, it could be, it could be. I've got to give the other ladies a chance, really. I feel awful maybe uh, seeing the other ladies, but now they're booked, I can't really let them down. It's not, 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 uh, not very fair, is it? That's right. If the ladies find out you're off the market, Lake, they will be devastated. Best to let them keep thinking that they have a chance. So time passes and Lake goes on his way. But then Lake urgently calls the team to come back. It turns out that his date wasn't interested in him, but he found a new lady, and only two days later, and I say this again, two days later, Lake got married to the lady. So Louis goes to talk to Lawrence before meeting Lake and his new wife. Married already? Indeed. Now, in two days? Indeed, yes. He, he had proposed to the lady on the first date. Is that wise? That seems too quick. That seems a rush. And just the day before, it seemed like he wanted to bring Sai home mm. back to Great Yarmouth. And now he wants to, he's, he's talking about marrying, he's married he's this other woman. Maybe it was love at first sight. Who knows? So let's hear what the situation is straight from the horse's mouth. How's it all been going? Oh, it has been like a fairy tale. We have very active two days. Yes. Very active, huh? 
I speak, I speak English. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Very beautiful lady. Very beautiful. So what happened? We talked three hours later. You want me? Yes, I like you. You make, you make me happy? Yes, I make you happy. Could you love me? Yes, I could love you, yes. Very quick. Very quick. Too quick? Can you, when, when you see a bargain, do you let it get away? I give, I give to you. May, the, may the, the flame of our love never die. I love you. I need you. I want you. Okay. I need this on a t-shirt. May the flame of our love never die. The funny thing to me is actually not what he said, but what she said. He confessed his love and she says, thank you. I tell you what, this is one of the best shows I've seen in a long time. I love you. Yes. But Lake's story doesn't end here. I did some digging and found that Lake was talking about what happened next on another TV show called Trisha. For those of you who are not familiar, it was a show a little bit similar to Jerry Springer. He went on the show to talk about UK women and Western women in general, but the conversation moved on to his adventures in Thailand. The video quality here is not the best, but take a look at what he said. Show and yeah. you, you... We're getting together with a, a lady from Thailand. Yes, yes. How did that work out? That, that didn't work out very well at all. Why not? Because she couldn't get through the embassy. Right. Um, I sent her money uh, because she wasn't working. How much money? Um, I should think about three and a half grand in there. Uh, but in you're, the on a, you're on a pension. That must have, you're Sorry? on a pension, aren't you? Yes, that must I'm, have been pretty tough. I'm on a pension tough. from the army, yeah. So what happened? Did you actually get married to um, her? Yes, I got married in Thailand. Right. Um, I, I, I think I told you in the last program, yeah. I took, took her to dinner, proposed in two hours. That's right. Got married in two days, lived with her for eight days and came home. And then what went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? Based on online sources, she refused the visa because she was already married to another Englishman at the time. On the Trisha show, Lake claimed that he believed it was due to insufficient funds. So it's unclear whether it was money, it was the existing marriage, or both that caused the issue. Following this, Lake spent thousands of pounds on international phone calls, gifts, and money for her. However, she then left him for a Belgian man the next year. But all is not lost. It turned out that Lake ended up with a Filipina years later. I also found one of the most amazing Facebook pages on the planet. The Lake Palmer Appreciation Society. 